Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing how you can build a Streamlit app integrated with Stripe in order to take payments. Before we get started, it's a little bit of context. The purpose of this app will be able to book a week in the year, and then we also want to be able to take a payment for that week in the year. Just think of a general booking app. So to do this, we can use both Stripe and Streamlit. Stripe is going to be for the payments. What we'll do, and I'll go into the portal to show, is we'll have to set up a product within Stripe that we can basically integrate into our Streamlit app. And Streamlit, once again, is just an app framework that's written in Python. So in terms of the app development, primarily in the app.py, we're concerned about building a SQLite booking system. We want to make sure we display some terms and conditions. And the third will be displaying a QR code along with a checkout link via Stripe. So in terms of the deployment stack, it's really easy using GitHub and Streamlit Cloud. Essentially, we'll set up a project in Streamlit Cloud that will look at this code storage that I have and is also in the description of the Stripe demo. And Streamlit Cloud is also going to be where we put our Stripe API key in, and that'll keep it safe so it's not exposed in our code. All right, so let's take a look at the code. You can go to this Streamlit Stripe repository that I have on my GitHub if you want to take a look. But we can take a look at the app.py script just to kind of go through it really quickly. And a little trick is if you press the period on the GitHub repo, it will open this, which is the um, .dev version, which basically puts it in a version of VS Code. So it's kind of easy to read, which is kind of nice. And the part that we're interested in reviewing right now is the app.py. So you'll see I have, this is the app, and there's different parts of the app. So the first thing I do in the script is I actually grab the Stripe key that I inject into the app in Streamlit so that it's uh, in Streamlit Cloud so that it's safe. Uh, I'm also defining some terms and conditions. I build a SQLite database to take the bookings. I'm kind of breezing through this because that's not really the important part. Set up a title of the page. Uh, we have a navigation portion, which has an about portion, booking and payment in terms and conditions. So those, those will be three different pages that you can go to. Uh, we'll skip the about, it's just the about of what the booking would be. And then the booking and payment, we have a calendar input, so it's a date input. And basically all I do is say, hey, you can book a week, just pick the start of the week. Then I also grab the email from the email that the person has provided. And then this is really where it comes in, is that we want to set up a um, terms and conditions box. So people will need to accept those terms and conditions. They press the box, and then I'll show the payment. So the real part is the payment part, and this is all just SQLite. So to actually just get a Stripe payment into your app, it's really this simple. Uh, this will come from the Stripe portal that I'll show in a second. But essentially, I'm just building an object in Python that's called Stripe.js, and I just have to put the uh, pr publishable key that's actually in the environmental variables into the JavaScript in this way. So I'll show you where this snippet comes from, and then uh, I think it'll make a little bit more sense. So let's hop over to Stripe to do that. And before hopping over to Stripe, just one last minor call out is that to initiate the Stripe.js, we're going to use the HTML component from the Streamlit components package up here. So that's how you actually instantiate the JavaScript. Now let's go over to Stripe. All right, so now let's get into the Stripe part. So go to dashboard.stripe.com. It'll plop you on the home page, but you'll want to navigate to payments and then go to payment leaks underneath. And what you can do is actually just add new payments. So each time you can add your own products. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of products and that was on the previous screen as well, but you can add more. So if we wanted to add a new product, basically you would want to have a name of your product, then have a description. You can set a price, 200 bucks, one time reoccurring, and that's really it. You can upload an image, then you can add products. I'm not gonna do so because I already have a few products, but that's it. Uh, it's really that simple. Then you go over to the product. You can grab the QR code, which this will actually download an image that you can plop into your code. So as you can see here, I have beachpayment.png, which is just an export of this. 
And if you remember in our scripts, we had that piece of JavaScript and this is all the JavaScript was. And all I did was replace my publishable key, which this has been changed since, uh, since the time of recording is uh, basically including this into the markdown, but then taking that publishable key and injecting it with the stream of cloud. So if you go back down here, that's the publishable key. And I'm just leaving that with some uh, curly braces in order to inject the Stripe publishable key. And that's it. That's all you really need from the Stripe end. And this is connected to a card. It has all those types of things. And you can also do a lot more with the Stripe API. If you are using Python, you could actually look at the analytics of your Stripe payments and all that good stuff. So yeah, really cool platform, really easy to integrate into Streamlit. Now let's actually deploy. It should pop up with the three different pages that we talked about, the, the booking, the terms and conditions. But the Stripe payment won't work because you haven't given it the key yet. So to do that, what we're gonna wanna do is go over to settings of your app. You'll see that's where I renamed it. And then you'll also wanna set stripe underscore key equals that, and then put in your publishable key. I'm not gonna do that on camera, but essentially you would put that here. All right, so now that we have that all set up, we're good to go. Now go into booking and payment, scroll down past the terms and conditions like you would normally do, confirm and pay. And then when we press this, this is when all the Stripe stuff will pop up. So you'll notice that we have a payment link here. We also have a QR code. So if you were to scan this, it would take you to this link here, but we'll click, click this link and it takes us to Stripe checkout. And there you go. People input their card, they have different payment options. You can enable different payment options as well uh, with Google Pay and all those other different providers. So I'd say this is a really simple solution to actually take payments, especially if you have a smaller business.